Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. In this YouTube video, I will discuss what I have termed Euler's blunder. Let's begin. 0 0.333 with an ellipsis following it is an infinite series. There is no other justification for its existence. It literally means the sum of all those terms. So if we take a look at the series here, which you see on the left, it's equal to three tenths plus three hundredths plus three thousandths. And so you will hear thousands of brainwashed idiots claim that 0 0.333 dot 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 is the limit. This is hogwash. Euler defined the series to be equal to its limit. Let's see how this works. So over here we have the series, which is supposedly an infinite sum. Well, there is no such thing as an infinite sum, and no infinite sum is determinable. But if you look at this series here, we have the sum from k is equal to 1 to infinity. And what it literally means is... 0 0.333 dot 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 the limit of the series is given by this expression here where the hand is pointing on the document its limit is clearly one third now what Euler did was he said let the series this red part equal to the limit but the series is not the same as the limit, this line here. And the series is not determinable, but the limit is determinable. Euler's blunder states, S is equal to lim S. Therefore, what you see here is really what Euler defined as s is equal to lim s, the series equal to its limit. This is like equating an apple to an orange. It's completely ridiculous, isn't it? Well, what I'd like you to do is begin to think for yourself. Don't listen to what your idiot professors tell you. They're morons. Compared to my intelligence, they're absolute primates. Euler made a mistake. Yes, he was a good mathematician, but this was his biggest mistake, and it's permeated all of mathematics. I don't call it mathematics because it's not really mathematics, it's mathematics. Now think about this. Can you carry on believing in this nonsense? Well, if you do, chances are you're not going to go very far. You'll be stuck in the same rut as the mathematicians have been the last 200 years. This nonsense has infected mathematics in almost every aspect. It's infected calculus, even though calculus is flawed without this definition. It's infected set theory, and what we have today is a flawed mainstream mathematics. Well, you should try thinking for yourself. It's very refreshing, I can tell you. And persist. Don't give up. Don't simply accept what an idiot professor will tell you or your math teacher at high school. The majority of them are morons. I can't tell you how much this attitude of the mainstream infuriates me. S lim S has to go. It's nonsense and its time is up. The Eulerian blunder has to be recognized and discarded. My name is John Gabriel and this is the New Calculus Channel. Goodbye.